guys welcome back to my youtube channel it's been quite a while since we actually had a conversation with the long-awaited jumia haul i've not done a jumia haul i think for almost a year now i did manage to get off the jumia website and i'm pretty excited to share with you guys because they were quite affordable this time around i actually didn't find a sale but yeah we did manage to pick out some goodies um, that I'll be using basically for my YouTube videos and also just my day-to-day -day life. So guys, I just wanted to let you guys know that I got these products, I believe, in the month of April. That is about three months ago. I don't know when this video is going to go up, but I am aware that the Jumia, that Jumia had their anniversary sale in the month of June, which is from June 16th all the way to June the 30th. So I didn't get these products during the sale, but you can always find similar sales that will occur during the year, like the Black Friday sale or maybe even their brand um, sales. Like so for those who don't know me, I actually live in a village in Kenya and I'll keep on saying this because I know the implication of not being able to access things that you desperately, desperately want or desperately, desperately need. Um, so Jumia has kind of been a lifesaver in, in that aspect. And now I'm going to share with you guys what I got. Starting off with the very famous, I think it will be a hit. You guys know how horrible my skin was. My skin was particularly horrible and this one ad again. 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 The ads brought me to Ghana. Uh, so I saw an ad on uh, the AHA and BHA Ghana, the new Ghana, which is basically known as commonly known as the charcoal serum. I have never seen a charcoal serum, I'll be honest with you guys. I have seen a charcoal wash, a charcoal peel, a charcoal mask, but I've never ever encountered a charcoal serum. So this is the first time I'm encountering a charcoal serum, and I am so so excited guys you guys have no idea to try this out and yeah it is so i'm very very excited for this product it's here it is here as you can see it's written aha plus bha anti-blemish serum salicylic acid and niacinamide and i know that salicylic acid as the written is a bha which is a beta hydroxy acid it's really good for acne prone skin i never ever knew that you could get acne in your 30s but i've never stopped having acne okay up until recently i've never ever stopped having acne i'll just be honest with you guys since i was a teenager um up until this point i about uh yeah until i just became pretty pretty serious with my skincare routine a monarch's regime is only as powerful as his skincare regime word i always to have breakouts even right now as you guys can see this this is a breakout right here I don't know whether you can see this one here, this one here, this one here, and this one here. See what it says? It's our first charcoal serum. Oh. So I'm not wrong when I say I've never actually encountered because I know that Ghani has had quite some years in skincare. So our first charcoal serum formulated with 4% AHA, BHA, and niacinamide. But this video is not about this product, this Ghani Skin Active product. It's not about it. So I'll do a whole video on this once I... I'm not even going to remove it from the box. Wait and watch that video. <laughs> okay, again on skincare, I picked up uh, the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Aqua Gel. This one, as you can see, the box is very, very damaged. Bombastic side eye. Criminal offensive side eye. Um, yeah, but I did pick it up specifically because i needed a moisturizer um the moisturizer i didn't even have particularly a moisturizer per se i was just using hyaluronic acid but the ones that i was using as skin actives i don't know how to call them skin active was the Garnier vitamin c booster serum and the efacla plus so i would interchange the efacla plus and the Garnier vitamin c booster serum and so i decided to pick up this moisturizer which is by neutrogena it's the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Water Gel. And it just looks like this. Maybe this one I can open because I don't think I'll do. It doesn't have a scent. Very mild scent. Watery, mild scent. Uh, but I will. this one I will not do a whole review on it. It's just a moisturizer. So if you are in need of a moisturizer, I have seen so many people saying that it's a good moisturizer. It was either I picked this Neutrogena Hydro Boost Serum or the Olay, not Olay, 
the um clinic uh they, they also have like a similar thing but it was more pricey so i opted for the neutrogena because it is more affordable still on skincare products i got this micellar water because my micellar water was over the micellar water that i was using previously was the garnier vitamin c micellar water so i decided to use this uh my micellar cleansing water by garnier still for sensitive skin so it looks like this and it came with this micellar reusable eco pads and yeah it just says face eyes lips no perfume no alcohol so i'm excited to use that and i know you guys are wondering why i love gangi products the first time i ever encountered a gangi product was uh what year was that i don't even have a memory of what year was that it was a long time ago not very long like 2010 i think was it 2011 i'm not sure one of those 20 somethings my skin was hoary was at the peak of horror if you saw me at that time you'd have pitied me so i came across a gania face wash and it was a travel size one i came across it in the supermarket and then i bought it and then uh when i looked at it, it was made in india so i gave my mom the bottle and then i i went to i changed cities so when my mom was coming to visit me uh i gave her that bottle and i told her go look for me this face wash it's the one that has helped my skin i can't even remember what face wash it was and then she called me she was like i have not found any such face wash it's like it was um imported one time yeah by the the proprietor it's like the person just imported it once and completely just stopped importing it so she told me i have found that one of those like Ghania products and it's quite expensive i was like oh really is it expensive she was like yeah at that time it was the that was around 2010 2011 i think she'd found the three-in-one wash and it was 900 shillings and i had told her that that face wash because it was a travel size was about 200 or 300 shillings so she was like uh, i've only found this three-in-one so and surprisingly she bought it for me and i was so happy with the results of that three-in-one the only issue is that I ended up using the three in one way too long and daily and yeah you know what happens when you use a scrub on a daily basis if you do use uh scrubs kindly just use them for two or three times a week not anymore so that is my story with Ghania, and that is how i just fell in love with their products because the wash worked for me the three in one worked for me until like started forming scarring because of too much use and yeah yeah let's not mention that the vitamin c has also are you seeing uh, guys are you seeing what the vitamin c has done let the results speak for themselves anyway this is not a sponsored video but yeah so i decided to, to also get those that micellar water and these are the reusable pads i think they're really good when it comes to cleansing your skin i believe that that is it for skin care we are now going to go with um hair products yes i'm pretty excited oh you guys know that i have natural hair yes i do love wigs but the reason i love wigs is that i don't want to be often manipulating my hair like often oftenly often often why do we keep doing that like it's going this way like no i'm fucking i'm fucking trying to straighten it down it's oftenly manipulating my hair i don't want to be doing that but when i do manipulate my hair my hair will just kind of come a long way <laughs> it doesn't has really come a long way so i decided to get this um got to be guardian angel 220 degree heat protection spray i don't know the name of this brand it's a schwartz off but i did get this off the jumia website so this new range uh that on jumia it's new on jumia and it's the l'oreal curl expression so it's a mousse and i did use it <laughs> i had to test it because sometimes you have to confirm if everything is working um because i have had these products for a while i think like almost a month i've not done this video i bought them i think a month ago like in the beginning of april that's when i got them so I was, they were just sitting there waiting to do this video but i decided to check out some of them uh specifically so that i can either return them jumia does have a return policy so it's either i wanted to return uh, to check whether they are defective or anything of the sort but they were not they were okay yeah so this is um 
the Cal expression, L'Oreal Cal expression, ten in one professional cream and mousse. I haven't had a chance to read all the small words uh exactly what the ten in one means because I think if it's ten in one it's like a mousse, a conditioner, a gel. A gel. Please, please, I don't have any time for any gossip now. I have not had a chance, so I cannot elaborate further, but it is so nice, yeah. I've not used it on my natural hair, I've just used it on wigs, but we are definitely going to use it on our natural hair because it was not that cheap. It wasn't that cheap. I also got this on Jumia, quite affordable. I think one of the main reasons I actually love Jumia is that one, it saves on time, honestly, and also because it just imagine all these things like I don't know how many beauty shops I'd have to go to or how many supermarkets I'd have to go to just to gather all these products at once. But at least Jumia gives me a chance to like just buy them at once, you know, in one lump sum. Yeah. I also got this just for my edges and also to lay the wigs because I'm tired of having, you know, wigs that are moving around. And this is the Got To Be Glued Styling Gel. It's made by the same company. It's one I go from the supermarket, but I think... I just need to mention it uh, to get it the ultra glued indestructible styling gel for screaming hold yes okay in line with hair products because i'm going systematically i'm going like skincare products hair products yesterday i watched queen charlotte and man i was heartbroken <laughs> I'm that broken i regret it but anyway it's a good series it's a good series if you haven't watched queen charlotte on netflix I suggest that you go watch it that's a commercial break but it's a good one it's a good one if you're a fan of Bridgerton you'll definitely definitely love Queen Charlotte so in line with the hair I don't know why I mentioned oh yes the reason I mentioned Queen Charlotte is because you guys know the makeup looks that I love doing and um this look was actually inspired by uh what's her name this lady, Lady Dunbury, yeah, the young Lady Dunbury, she used to rock like some smoky, subtle smoky, although I did use a winged liner, but she did used to rock like some subtle smoky eye look and like some matte lipstick, but I did put shine on mine. But this look was basically inspired by her, that's why, yeah, when I tell you, go watch Queen Charlotte. <clears throat> So in line with the hair products, I got this just for styling my edges. You guys, I'm improving on my wigs. I can't, sometimes I do buy good wigs, but the styling, the styling. Yeah, and it has like a metal just to help with you parting, you know, this part here and also like the edges. And yeah, very nice. I love this wig. I got it off AliExpress. I think I'll do a whole video on the recent wigs that i've gotten from aliexpress quite nice wigs before yeah. we jump to the meat on the bone you guys know that this is a makeup channel it's a beauty channel occasional fashion channel um before we jump into the makeup i bought this off the linton's beauty world store it's on jumi also and this is the yummy candy it's just like some dupes <laughs> some dupes of perfumes and it really smells good okay we are almost through with the products because it's only remaining makeup products and yeah i did buy some makeup products some of them i have actually used them once in this makeup look because i was desperately in need of some of them like eyeliner by the way funny enough i normally like finish my stuff that's when i buy i don't know i see a lot of people like buying many different brands but i literally like buy one thing finish it specifically for some products like foundations i have a lot because of wrong foundation shades that i buy online but for other products i just buy like one and then it's over so i'm gonna start with the ones i've already used um but i can just give you a two cents and some of them are repurchases the ones that are repurchases i feel are really good for the price point and the first repurchase is this one and this is the, um, I think this is the third purchase actually that I've bought from Jumia, the third one. And all of them either ended up drying out or finishing. 
yeah so this is the third one and it's the maybelline colossal kajal 12 extra black the argan oil kajal it's the one i normally use to line my waterline amazing i love this it is so good i've even used it because the other one i had had already dried down i love this one and it's also super affordable i think it's like 500 or 600 kenya shillings doesn't make your eyes red you know like cheap um eyeliners or anything of the sort it's really good and then i bought this one by zaron um zaron is a nigerian brand and i have wanting to buy i've been wanting to buy their products for the longest longest time um and i decided to test out with an eyeliner because i haven't found a really good eyeliner on jumia and i saw this hd liquid eyeliner and it had some really high ratings and reviews and it's by zaron cosmetics so it comes in a box that looks like this and the tube itself looks like this and it's the one that did this wing and it is so good i'm so glad i bought it it's slightly more costly than the maybelline ones but it is so good so it i feel happy i feel grateful and i feel fulfilled so if you haven't tried out zaron products i suggest you try them out so I did use it for this wing because I was just too eager and my eyeliner had literally dried out. So I think I'll be buying more Zaron products. And um, yeah, I'm, I also want to get into Kenyan brands of makeup. So if you know a good Kenyan brand, please suggest for me. And this is their HD liquid eyeliner by Zaron really good really okay good. so i also got this pro conceal concealer and this is their orange corrector if i'm not wrong because i wanted an orange corrector you guys know that i've been covering dark spots with uh, my normal concealer the one whose shade is phone so i got this orange corrector yeah it is the orange corrector by illegal pro conceal concealer so i'll be using it to cover dark spots and all of that so I'm excited for that. It's not a very okay. Expensive. You guys know that I was not going to leave the website without Maybelline lipsticks, and you guys know that I bought one Maybelline lipstick off the Boohoo website, and it was the Maybelline Superstay Vinyl Ink. Because nowadays we want like this shiny look, this shiny look here. Although this isn't the Vinyl Ink, I haven't tried this too. I bought only one, it was the shade Royal, but now I got the other, some other two, just to test them out. And also do like swatches for you guys because like swatches and most of them were not for people of my skin tone so i want to test them out for you guys and this is red hot this is number 25 red hot i'm not even going to swatch it check out a video for swatching it i'm going to do a video for swatching it and also some shots in case you you're not into long format videos i'm also going to do some shots for you guys so that you can check out the shades and it's the shade koi I hope it will suit it does look like this top though so but i hope it will suit me um, i really fear but i always mix my lipstick so no worries so i got this too yeah and those that is it from the jumia website but i did get a couple of things from boohoo just three items yeah of makeup from the i am so excited for i have not even opened the packages at all i am so happy for them I couldn't get this off the Jumia website, that's why I went to Boohoo. And this NYX Ultimate Glow Shots. I wanted these glow shots. Glow shots are just like liquid eyeliners. As you can see, they've drawn an eye on them. So they're just liquid eyeliners and I just wanted to test them. So I got this silver one. I haven't opened it, but I think I, because I, I wouldn't do a video on them. I think I'll just open and swatch for you guys. So this one is the shade. Uh, what shade is this? Come through coconut. So it's the NYX glow shots and this is the shade come through coconut. Wow. As you can see, they do have a really nice shine. Yeah. See that shine? Imagine it on your eyes. So they're for the eyes and then the other shade that I got, I just got the bare minimum shade um, in terms of like 
you know the shades that are safe i was playing safe basically this one oh i think i opened the seal by the way to this one when it came if i'm not wrong yeah as you can see it's this one here really pretty color oh can we to use them on my eyes on my eyes <laughs> yeah and then this okay then i got a foundation and the reason i got this foundation from boohoo all the way from boohoo is because i couldn't find this foundation either on jumia or kilimall or anywhere no i did find one on jumia but it wasn't my shade and it got sold out before i could buy my shade so i got this one from boohoo this is the true match i i love love this the consistency of this product it's so lightweight yeah I had this one that i was using this one i got off jumia and this one as you can see the shade is slightly lighter though this is from boohoo the one i recently got and this is from jumia uh this one was 8c which is a uh, noisette or truffle noisette nut brown 8r 8c and it was too light for me and this one is the shade 9n which is neutral undertone and you guys know that i have a neutral undertone as you guys can see silver suits me gold also suits me by the way so um i got this 9n so i want a shade darker and also i changed undertones because this one was cool undertone this is neutral undertones and this is number eight this is number nine so i'm really hoping i haven't tested it out but i know it will be my skin tone for sure for sure for sure for sure for sure so finally i think i have gotten my l'oreal true match in my right skin tone and that is it guys so look out for more makeup videos because i have more makeup products yes i love this does it dry down <gasps> guys it dries it dries it dries as you can see it's just merging just a little because i've rubbed it too hard but it dries down to literally can't come off it can't come off yeah so those are the nicks i should get some more colors but the economy is so bad the economy is so bad but i wish i could get more colors in this nyx glow shots and this i'm so happy finally i got my shade i got my shade yeah look at it it doesn't look like me yeah, I'm happy with this. Very happy with this. I have bought so many foundations off uh, the internet and they happen to like not be my shades. And I haven't really had the time or chance to go to a physical store and like get my face color matched and whatever. I just use those apps that are like for color matching and all. And sometimes I do fill my information on wrongly, maybe. Yeah, so, but anyway, guys. I am so happy. Nowadays, people have the attention span of like, I don't know, a cricket, a gold. People say a goldfish. The attention span of a cricket, honestly. Just because of, you, of um, you know, short form videos. <laughs> so I'm so happy if you've reached this point in the video. I know that you are a real trooper. If you haven't yet subscribed, make sure you subscribe to my channel. I truly appreciate you. And I will see you in my next video thank you so much guys for watching and continue being your fabulous self make sure you subscribe to this channel bye